This is Jared McDonald with the Daily News here in Bowling Green. Um, you know, your first season, I haven't run cross country since I think coach said eighth grade. So you didn't run it in high school. You know, what was it like just getting back out there and, and having the level of success that you had? It was like so surreal. It's nothing I don't think I ever would have expected to happen. Like I came in knowing that hopefully I would do well and I would be like up there in the team, but I didn't expect to do as well as I did. And it was just so exciting to be able to like all that training over the summer and like all the hard work that we put into practices. It was so great to be able to like actually get to like put it into like into work and get to actually go out there and race. And it was really nerve wracking at first because like I'd never raced before, but it was like something like the feeling of racing is just something that never could like describe. And it's just like so much fun. And I just, I'm so glad that I came here because I like found my passion and it's so, so great. Rory, this is Nick Keezer with the College Heights Herald. Uh, so following your first year on the Hill and like Jared said, not racing since eighth grade and having that turnaround, how are you feeling about your performance overall? I feel pretty good about my performance. I'm big, I'm pretty happy with how I did. I didn't, in conference, I didn't place as high as I was hoping, but I think I was really excited with my time because I did drop a lot from my previous 6K. And that was like, and I was a little nervous, especially the first 6K because I'd never raced that before. But coach was telling me that he thought how I was better, like this was more towards my strength as a 6K because I feel like I'm, I'm definitely more of a distance person. So being able to like actually go out and like race and know I felt a lot better this time going coming in to this race than I did the last one because I felt like I was definitely a lot more prepared. Hey Rory, this is Jared with the Daily News again. You know, kind of going back to wanting to run cross country in college, it sounded like you were running on your own kind of, and then you sent coach an email saying like you were interested and all that. I guess, can you walk me through like how you ended up on the team yeah so basically I had been what I've been considering doing cross country like for like in college for a little bit after I ran my half marathon back in March because people had said they're like oh you're actually like you're all right at this like maybe you should try it and go in college they're like you could always try and walk on the team and I'd always been like toying with the idea I was like you know maybe maybe not and then one day I was like I was talking to the people that I knew in my life that were runners and like including like my dad and like all my dad's friends they also all run and so it was like over like fourth of july weekend or something like that we were all up at our lake and we were talking about it and i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it and so then i just like googled like wku cross country and i like clicked on the and it's like his email popped up and so then i emailed him and just said like hey i'm interested in walking on the team like what can I hear a little bit more about your program, what you got going on? And then he texted me and then just started like asking about my times. And I just kind of told him like my time for my half. And then I had told him like also like just while running, like just training for the half, like kind of what times I was running. And he seemed really impressed with them. And he just basically offered me a spot. And he said, if you're interested in running for us, I would love to have you. And I said, yes. Rory, this is Nick again. Um, so you're going to be wrapping up your first year, uh, I guess, after the next semester, depending on how COVID goes and whatnot. So, you know, I guess being one of the leaders, even though it's your first year, you know, how do you feel about being in that role? And in what ways do you know that this program needs to step up the next season? Uh, I definitely, it's a lot of pressure to be so young and new and like being able to like have such a like, big and like important role on the team and it's a lot but I definitely think I'm ready for it and I'm really excited to be able to like have the opportunity to have this position I definitely want to use it to my advantage and help the team and be a, I think be a voice for the team and so I think it'll be good by stepping up for the team wise communication and being able to like communicate because like communicate with the coaches and being so young, like I'm around them a lot more than them. And so we'll be able to communicate with each other a lot. And I'll be able to like, ask them like how they're feeling about the workouts and how like they think we can improve. And I'll be able to just like talk to the captains and the coaches. And I think that'll really help us a lot. And it'll definitely help with our improvement overall.
Roy, this is Jared again. Um, you know, you just mentioned kind of the team as a whole, but what about for you personally? Like, do you have any specific goals now that the season's over or, or what would you like to accomplish personally? Um, I definitely want to, for next cross country season, I definitely want to like, obviously like step up my times. I think like a sub like 18 5k would definitely be really cool. Like that's definitely the goal. And for track, since I've never ran track before, I'm like pretty nervous about that. But I think I definitely want to like just go out there and just try my best. And I'm definitely like open to trying tons of new things. So I think it'd be cool to be able to try different events and just see where I'm really like strong in and where I can improve. Rory, so it's Nick again. What as a program specifically do you feel like needs to, you know, increase for next season? I know that there's, you know, distance and and power and just running at a better time, but what what needs to be done for you guys to improve upon for next season? I know that we've touched on it just a little bit, but more just more in like specifics. Um, besides like running and stuff, I think communicating with one another will definitely be helpful in like being able to work as a team. It'll definitely help the team dynamic as well. So once we are starting to be able to communicate better with the coaches and with it with one another, we'll be able to run together better. And so hopefully we'll be able to start running as a group more and then we'll be able to help each other improve on that.